Disclaimer alert. Disclaimer alert. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Joe. We are talking about shin splints and what to do with helping out your shin splints. Hopefully you've already checked out the stretches and it made it feel a little bit better. Now that it's feeling better, we want to strengthen everything so then you won't have these shin splints anymore. So let's get started with some of the strengthening exercises. All right, so the first strengthening exercise to strengthen your shins and your ankles will be with a band. Like we've talked about the bands before, they come in different strengths, different colors. Yellow usually is the lightest color, and then it goes red, green, blue, and black. So we're going to start off with the yellow just to get you going, let you see how it feels. You don't want to start off too strong because you don't want to irritate anything. So after you've done all your stretches, you want to prop your foot up a little bit so you have movement in your heel. This might not quite be enough. You can roll up a beach towel and that'll give you a good little lift off the ground so you'll have some movement in your ankle. What you want to do is you want to take your band and put it just on the balls of your feet. So you don't want it up on your toes because it'll fly off like that and you don't want it down low because that's not going to give you enough resistance. So right there on the balls of your feet and you're going to keep your legs straight and you're just going to push down as far as you comfortably can. And that's stretching out that anterior tab tibialis and that's strengthening it as well. You want to come back nice and slow so there's some control in there and bring it back as far as you can. So you're just going to push down and come back. Now as you can see, if you can see my foot, you don't want your foot shaking around as you go down because you want to try and keep it as still as possible because that's focusing on those muscles to help strengthen them. If you feel like your ankle is wiggling around like that, you probably have too much resistance, so go down on resistance. And even if the lightest band is too much resistance, then just don't use a band and just push down and pull up as far as you can. And once you can do 20 to 25 with one band and it feels easy and you don't feel any burning anywhere then you want to bump up to the next resistive band. Alright so the next strengthening exercise is going to be standing. So let's stand up and we'll show you those. Okay so here are some standing strengthening exercises for your ankles, your calves, and your anterior tibialis muscles in the front to help out with those shin splints. So the first one that you want to do, I'm going to turn a little bit at an angle so you can see. This is the first step. This should be the easiest one for you. It's going to be a simple raise up on your toes and then roll back onto your heels. If you need something to hold on to, make sure you hold on. You don't want to be falling. You don't want it to be too much pain. So if you need something to hold on to stabilize with, that's fine. You're just going to go up on your toes, back on your heels. You don't want to be feet completely together. You want to have a nice separated stance. Going up on the toes, rolling back on your ankles. So after you've tried going up on your toes and back on your heels and that becomes easy, then you can add movement in it and that's what we call dynamic movement and that's going to help increase your balance as well. So you're just going to go up on your toes and then walk on your toes and then when you turn around you can come back on your heels. Now go a little further than I do. I don't have quite as much room, but you want to start off with 10, 15 feet. If that's easy, then you can go a little further. But walking down on your toes and then coming back on your heels. Now the next one is going to be a drag. And this is going to be a stretch and a strengthening at the same time. You just want to bring your foot back and drag it forward. See how that's straightening everything out there, but it's also making me work those muscles a little bit, just dragging it forward. Drag it forward straight, and then you can also turn your foot in so you get a little bit more on the outside there and drag it forward that way. So you can do that about 10 or 15 times. You don't want it to be super painful, but you want to feel some tension, you want to feel like you're working those muscles. If those are easy, then you can step it up a little bit and get some extra motion in there, get some extra strengthening. We're going to use a step, step ladder like we did for the plantar fasciitis, but it's kind of a step up from the plantar fasciitis. So this allows you to get extra motion. So you're going to drop your feet all the way down and then do a toe raise here. So you're not just here at the ground, but you're getting that extra motion, that extra lift off. Once you get good at those, those feel easy, then you can go to one foot. All the way down, all the way up. 
same thing you want to be able to do about 15 or 20 of those without getting super tired all right so there you have it those are exercises to strengthen your shins and your ankles so you won't have shin splints anymore so if you liked it click the like button and if you want to check out some more exercises or educational videos go to askdrjoe.com and be safe have fun and i hope you feel better soon